Gamers, today we are gonna check the win rates in the latest patch. When was the latest patch? I have no idea. No idea. But the last time we checked the win rates, French was dominating. D -d 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 dominating super hard. So let's check what we got going on right now. Any rank, any rank overall, French is no longer first. French is now fourth overall win rate and HRE took them over. We see Mongols at the top and Abbasid. So if you guys don't know, French got a slight nerf in villager production. Mongols got a free Gur, which helped a ton in this patch. They're getting a free Gur at the start of the game. And there were some other changes. I can't remember what, but I guess the biggest ones this balance, I will tell you, I always said plus 3 to 5 or minus 3 to 5 percent is balanced. 48.5 to 50.7 is really good. Really good. Like, I don't think people realize, guys, StarCraft couldn't balance with three races. This has eight sieves with way more maps and way more uh, different kinds of maps. And the fact that it's this close is insane. Let's check by under silver. French, still highest. Of course they are. Uh, I see them posting all the time. So silver or lower, I mean, French is still highest. I think, like I said, I've always said this. It comes down from these two sieves have knights in feudal and lower league players don't know how to defend mass knights. They don't know how to defend any knight harassment. And that's what you get. Holy Roman Empire is now third, English fourth. Holy Roman Empire, uh, a lot of lower league of players from what I've heard are doing like mine work into burger and just spam men at arms everywhere it's fairly easy to execute and it's a lot harder to defend i can't remember exact win rates last patch i mean again even in silver and under the 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 balance is quite close dell is obviously the least pick because uh apparently uh it, it's very hard to play at low levels because you got to get all the upgrades and all that stuff gold and above Whoo! sheesh French fifth! All the people saying they're gold because of French OP are in fucking shambles right now. Oh my god. Oh my- and look at that! 50.9% to 48.7. That's crazy close. That is crazy, crazy fucking close. We also see that French is no longer top played Civ, which is also crazy. It's English now. It was always between English and French, but I feel like French was always more played. HR is obviously really high. Mongol is picking up. Mongol had a terrible pick rate last patch. But since the GUR change, a lot of players are more willing to play it. Platinum and above. French fourth. Dude, look at this win rates. They're so fucking close. That is insane. That is insane. How do I check? How do I? How do I look at that graph thing? You know what I mean? Where it's like... It shows individual win rates. How do I do that? And then diamond and above. Abbasid with 52.2% win rate. Rus second. HRE third. French 49.4%. Unplayable. Literally unplayable. Everyone on the ladder quit French right now. It's unplayable. This sieve is terrible. It has a 0.6% down the shitter. Literally can't win any game. Literally. That's what I'm reading here. <clears throat> Delhi pick rates are very, very low. Uh, I think Delhi pick rates in general are very low across the board because A, they are more unique than the other civs. Well, not more unique, but they do require unique gameplay. And also their style is very all in. Like you go elephants and then you attack. Maybe people don't enjoy that. But I do think you can play Macro Deli just fine, but it just has a very low pick rate. Uh, yeah, yeah, Salami in the chat. Yeah, Salami probably half the games is you. So, yeah. The reason why Abbasid, by the way, is doing this much better is... I think that French got a slight nerf. Uh, Abbasid, like I always said, is, is very good against French. Abbasid is okay against HRE because even if HRE gets to castle, Abbasid can stay in feudal with, cam with camel archers and horsemen. So it's not a terrible matchup. Abbasid versus Mongol is very good and Mongol pick rate has increased. I would say maybe the bad matchups for Abbasid is like maybe English and Chinese. 
Arus as well is not great for Abbasid, but the other sieves are pretty good matchups for Abbasid and um, I mean, it has a decent pick rate. It's not the highest, it's like in the middle regarding pick rate. It just kind of skyrocketed with win rates, which I'm actually surprised because I think Abbasid is a good sieve. I don't think it's necessarily bad or, you know, but I'm surprised that they are the one that came on top. Rus being second, Rus is just an overall safe sieve. Like I did a, a tier list uh, recently with Marine Lord. That was before the patch, but Rus is just a solid pick on like every map. You can play it on whatever map you want. You can play it on King of the Hill. You can play it on water maps, on land maps, any maps you want, you can play it. And then obviously HRE, I mean, I did call it's a very good sieve. Everyone's been saying it's a very good sieve. And then, what did I say? I said, the reason it has low win rate is because there's thousands of players that has switched over to HRE because it's heard it's Imba and had no fucking clue how to play it. And as you can see now, people have improved with HRE and I wouldn't be surprised if HRE win rates go further up because people are going to get better and better against them and this is the most important part their natural predator which is french are going down in pick rates so the more french goes down in pick rates because abbasid is played more and mongols now feel much better french is going to be played less thus you're going to see more hre being played and more hre win rates 100 percent so let's look at the win rates let's look at a diamond and above uh abbasid's weak matchup uh, is a Rus, by the way, because if you don't know, the best strategy as a Rus to go against Abbasid is going for the boar strategy <clears throat> into one stable knight and four archer ranges, and I have that build order guide on my YouTube. That build is very hard to stop as Abbasid. Yeah, Rus just feels pretty good in it. 50.4% uh, versus HRE. They're beating down the French quite bad and the Mongols, which Abbasid, like I said, is very good into both of those. I'm surprised that it has 54% versus English. Uh, versus Delhi, I think you can go either way. And then versus China is 50-50, but I feel the reason for that is not many people actually specialize or play China, because I do think China is favored in that matchup. I think Delhi, like honestly, it's like a 50-50. Both sides can win. Like I said, English, I'm a bit surprised because I think English is quite decent against Abbasid. Uh, because once the game reaches like certain point, it's very hard for Abbasids to do damage. I haven't played that much, uh, that matchup too much recently. That 46% versus HRE, which I'm gonna go ahead and have to say that's player's fault. Diamond and above, I, I think Rus is good against HRE because think about it. Um, French is a natural predator of uh hra why is that because of knights which other sieve has knights rus they can play exactly exactly the same way rus and french against hre they're good against hre for the same reasons so rus should have a good win rate against hre i don't know why it doesn't i don't know what the other players are doing but if you're a rus player literally just play that matchup like you play french versus hre that's, that's how the matchup works. You have knights and you can fight HRE even in castle and just beat him with feudal army. HRE equal too good. I mean, Rus equal is better than French because Rus gets boars. You can get double boar and they get 20% more wood from wooden fortresses. So they can actually mass way more units than, um, than the French can. Maybe because Rus wants relic. Well, that's how you lose the game. If you play Rus versus HRE and you rush Relics as a Rus, you're gonna lose. So don't do that. Uh, Rus versus French. Also surprised about this one. I think uh, French is good into Rus, but it's, it's pretty close. 51.5%. Also, the sample size of this is not massive. So, you know. Uh, Rus versus Mongols. 58.7%. I do think that this matchup is rough for Mongols. Uh, the reason for that is a Rus can buy second TC. You can buy 300 stone and just make it a golden gate, thank you. And you can just make a TC. The thing is in this matchup, Mongol can't really punish you. So you can go second TC into castle, like naked, with no units. And Mongol can't do much. And then you're both in castle actually around the same time. Except Rus is 2 TC. And they have a landmark that already gives them access to monastery to get the relics. 
And then if um, if Mongols go lose lancers, which is usually what Mongols do, a Rus can literally go knights of their own or spearmen on crossbows. So it's not a great matchup for Mongols for that reason. Um, a Rus versus English, I mean, it's around 50%. A Rus versus Abbasid, that's interesting. I think this matchup is pretty um, decent for Rus. I don't think it's necessarily bad. I'm not gonna say favored, so it's kind of interesting that it has 44% win rate. And then Rus versus China has 52%. Like, honestly, I can't look at China win rates um, too seriously because the amount of players that play China is so low, I feel like, at, at a high level. Like, when I play ladder, I almost never play against China. Like, almost never. Yeah, I meant Rus versus Delhi, I don't know what I said. Yeah, HRE is still struggling versus French, and this is the same reason, like I said. Uh, it should struggle against Rus as well, but no. Um, Mongo, it has negative win rate. I'm assuming because of Tower Rushing. Tower Rushing, funnily enough, got nerfed in the last patch. Oh yeah, that was one of the big changes. The Towers got nerfed. So funnily enough, Mongols got nerfed with the Tower Rushing, but because you get an X, like you get a, a Gur when you start the game, once you Tower Rush, you can transition to feel much faster. So it's actually really nice for Mongols, which I'm assuming that's what they're doing in this matchup, just Tower Rushing. Uh, HRE is really good into English. English is like, if they rush castle, they're gonna lose to HRE rushing castle. If English tries to put pressure on, on HRE, by the time their units across the map and they build a ramp, HRE is in castle. And then they go uh, burger palace and just mow you down. So it is a rough matchup for English, I will say that. HRE versus Delhi. I've been actually struggling with this matchup recently, but everyone says HRE is favored, so I don't know. And then A3 versus China, you know. Uh, French versus Mongols, 40%. Uh, there was a moment where French had a really good win rate against Mongols. And that's because Tower Rushing wasn't as good. But I think now that they got Gur back, or not back, but they got given the Gur, Tower Rushing became a little bit less powerful, but more, I guess, cost efficient. That kind of makes sense. Uh, French versus English has a high win rate. That makes sense because French has a massive power spike in castle and is really good in feudal and English not so much. Uh, French versus Delhi not too many games there but I do agree if both sides play pretty well I do think that French should have an edge. And then French versus China. The reason for this high of a win rate by the way I know I said Chinese win rates are kind of weird but the reason for this is a lot of Chinese players just go for 2TC, like, they, like they're gonna go 2TC or they're gonna die trying, you know? Then they just die to, you know, French Knights and, and French pushing and, and, yeah, just winning the game, so... Uh, that's probably the cause of it. Mongol versus English, 43% win rate. I think this is very spawn dependent, um, this specific matchup, because... In castle, Mongol is way better, but in feudal, Mongol might struggle to get to castle. I don't, I don't think they should. Um, so if your gold is like super exposed or your spo stone is super exposed, the English can camp that and do a lot of damage. But 43% is very low, I feel like. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. And then Mongol versus Delhi, I mean, it's uh, tower rush galore. So same reason like against French, they're probably getting tower rush to shit. And then Mongol versus China. You can't really tower rush China because they age up so fast. And they can also make barracks of their own and like Imperial, use an uh, Imperial official to get the spearmen out. So you can kind of see all the matchups that Mongols are good in, which is HRE, French and Delhi, is the matchups where they can tower rush. Because you can't really tower rush Rus because their age up is also fast. You can't really tower rush English because they're villagers. You can't tower rush Chinese because Barbie can and, and they age up super quickly. And then the reason why against Abbasid the win rates aren't high is because Abbasids can just build a ramp super early. So yeah. Oh yeah, English versus Delhi. Uh, I think this is a very very rough matchup for Eng for English. It is super super hard. You cannot beat Delhi in feudal battles. And again, if you're rushing castle, Delhi is just gonna take all the sacred sites and then they're gonna go castle and beat your ass. So it, it's a rough matchup for English for sure. Um, and then English versus China is pretty even. And then we got Delhi versus China. 
a little favored, but like I said, doesn't have a lot of 72 games is not a lot. So that's pretty interesting. Stuff has changed, and like I said, I would assume that HRE win rates will go up. I would also assume that French win rates might stay the same. Actually, their win rate, this is an interesting thing, their win rate might go up <clears throat> because I think a lot of, there's a lot of players that uh, switch sieves, whatever's OP, they just play that. And I think a lot of people will be abandoning French. So I think the French pick rate might go down, which boosts A3 win rates, but the French players that do play French will be quite good, so their win rate might stay or even go up. I don't expect Delhi, China, English to change too much. Um, I can see Mongols maybe increasing, but I think as is, uh, like I said, the game is pretty well balanced uh, right now, so I don't know, th th there should be some way to maybe buffing China and Delhi, making them maybe easier to play lower leagues, but I don't really know how you would do that. Because people are just so disinterested in playing, especially Delhi. Like China is being played. China is actually more played than Rus and than Abbasid. And almost the same amount of games as Mongols, which I find very interesting. Uh, but Delhi, it, it has 4,443 games. Like, that's very low. English is played four times more. So, yeah, I don't know why people dislike it. I think Delhi's a cool sim. But either way, if you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going, baby.